Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm so excited to be able to make another unboxing video. As you guys know, Apple released the iPhone 7 and the new Apple Watch Series 2 and I was just so excited. I ordered both of them, but um, unlikely from last year where I ordered my iPhone 6S online and the next day I was able to kind of reserve it in the Apple store. For some reason, there was a, a shortage of phones in stores. I don't know what, 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 what's going on with this huge drama about it, but I know that a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people that usually do unboxing were not able to get the iPhone in the store. So I wanna talk a little bit about that later, but let's start with the good news and then I kinda tell you guys my story. So let's get started. <laughs> oh, guys, let's start opening this. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm dying for it. <laughs> Oh God, um, so here is my Apple Watch. It comes here like this little box saying Watch Series 2. I got the 42 millimeters because I really cannot really tell the difference between 42 and 38. They're pretty similar in size. And since I don't see well, I was thinking like, it's better to kind of send text messages if I can see things better. So I, because I'm a blind as a bad, decided to go with the one that's a little bit bigger, so talk more about it. It comes with this little thing here. You don't need no longer to cut with the knife around. So let's get it started. It looks like this. It came like in this protected box that doesn't say Apple, but it requires signature. Oh, wow. Look at it's undressing the box. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at this. This beautiful box with the treasure inside. So let's continue opening this thing. Let me see how fast this goes. Ooh, look at that. Comes like the nice little box here. And inside you get the little, I think the watches, of course the watches in here. Inside comes with the little manual. It says designed by Apple California, right here. And let's take a look inside. And inside comes with the charger and the cable to connect to the charger. It doesn't come with the, like, the little stand like the ceramic version comes. But you know, I think you can buy for $100 on Apple Store, the, the stand. So if you're thinking like, oh, should I get the ceramic so I can get more? It's still $500 more than normal because I think we pay around $500 for uh, for this, this one here. And I got the stainless steel black sports band. And the reason I got the stainless steel is because this is the most resistant besides the ceramic one. Yeah, I would love to get the ceramic one, but I was on budget, so I got the black one. So Apple, if you guys wanna send me the ceramic one, I'll be more than happy to own one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll use my black one very happily, of course. So let's continue doing the unboxing. I'm trying to open this, I was like, eh, eh. I'm like, fly Apple Watch. Fly. Now, um, I'm trying to look how to open this. Oh, there we go. This idiot proof type of thing here. Let's open this. Ooh, sleek, huh? And I'm like, now it looks like a little face, like, and it opens like that. Oh, I'll clean it up later. And here, this is the little box with the apple. And you guys ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. <sighs> okay. Ooh, sleek watch. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it smells like brain. So amazing. Oh, and one of the reasons that I actually got the black collar is because I ordered <laughs> I ordered my um uh, my my I wanted my watch to match my phone. Does it make sense now? So because I think even if I had a ceramic, I'll be like probably put my my uh, my jet black into a white case to match it because I kind of like matching it. I kind of was a little bummed that last time, like I had the Rose Gold 6S Plus unboxing and it didn't match my Apple Watch at all because it had the stainless steel. They actually later on released the rose gold, but it was just so cheap looking. The uh, aluminum one, um, 
aluminum. I don't know if you guys say aluminum or aluminum. You guys get me, okay? Don't give me a hard time for that. I didn't really like it, it looked cheap. So I like the kind of the steel look. So, and I think this is gonna match pretty beautifully the jet black. It has to match, guys, it has to match. Here I am with the, oh my God, it looks so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my god, it comes here. So see, follow the thing. Ooh. And that's like a little plastic Apple Watch. So you can give to your friends that didn't order one. Or their phone their their Apple Watch didn't arrive, so they can have a feeling how it feels to have in your in your wrist. Now that's a cruel thing to do, don't do that. You're gonna get some enemies. <gasps> it looks so sleek, it looks so fancy. And I'm filming this on my iPhone 6S Plus because I don't film in my camera. You know, I got so lazy about <laughs> filming on my camera because it's just so annoying I have to put it inside my computer and anyway, so I've been filming this on my iPhone 6S and I can't wait for my iPhone 7 to come over for my little Jet black shiny family. This is so gorgeous. So let's turn this baby on. I'm gonna put it on actually. I think this is large. Oh, it comes with medium large. So I'm probably gonna change the band because I'm a small wristed woman. So I'm, let me do that. So it comes, I think that second wristband comes inside this little packet here. Let's take a look. It comes with the little manual with how to set up your watch. How to turn on it looks like to turn on you have to press those two together i didn't remember that because i i don't think i ever turned it off my apple watch my serious one so here's kind of giving a little like tips and how to use it so it's good to keep it around so if you have any questions about how i adjust it it's a good way to kind of to go and also if you're gonna sell your apple watch series 2 in the future it's a good way to go it looks like the size for this band here on the top seems still to be the same size so the only change is gonna be how long it's gonna be this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop out. This is the small medium that comes with it. And I'm gonna pop out the medium large because you guys can see it's a medium large. To pop out, you have to press this button in the back and just unbuckle to the side, force it to the side. See, so it came off. You can put it back here. I don't think it's gonna fit. It doesn't fit. I wish there's a, a fit, like, I don't know, something to kind of put it in so it will fit, but it seems like by default is the medium large. So the same thing, I don't think you need to press the button in the back to actually put it in. I think you just will slide in. Okay, let's do this. I think it's the other side. It looks like it's just always from the side that has the button that will start to fit. Let me just, um, there we go. So guys, a little tip here to slide in the band. It's always good to kind of look for the side that has the button. Put it in, it locks. I'm just kind of forcing all the way. It will not come from the other side. So everything seems perfect. So I'm gonna place here on my wrist and I'm gonna do some setting up. But let's turn it on first. Let's turn it on. So hold here and here and press it together. Ooh. I think that this is a great choice for you guys. Anti-scratching is such a blessing. I have friends that got the luminant one and it's just, it's very scratchy. It looks very, you know, used on the side. And my uh, serious one doesn't, doesn't have any scratches at all, like zero scratches. So I don't know what material they use to build this, but I'm impressed. <laughs> so here is kind of asking the language. And no, I don't speak Spanish. I'm just kind of doing the usual setup and I think it's gonna give me like the little bubble thing to pair up with my iPhone since I'm talking to you guys on my iPhone I have to start up this video <laughs> and do like a pair up and then we're gonna open up the watch and do like a full review about it okay I'll be right back hi guys as you guys can see I am uh, setting up my Apple watch here it's taking a while I'm filming this in my iPhone 6s plus and it's kind of pairing up with my watch and it's installing all the apps that are available for my Apple Watch. So I'm, 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 I love to do it set up as new because I think that my old watch, I was, 
I stopped using for a while and I had some bunch of apps that were kind of like sending me messages and notifications and I, I think it's so important to keep your Apple Watch very organized so you kind of have control over the notifications that don't make you feel overwhelmed. So setting up this as, as new, it's gonna be an opportunity for me to kind of keep the hoarder uh, habit on holding into old apps out. My watch still loading here while I'm talking to you guys, so hold on there. So I just kind of want to give a little review of the specs of this watch. People are asking me like, what would you get an Apple watch or why wouldn't you get a different type of watch? I think first of all, Apple did such a wonderful job creating a product that's just integrated pretty well with the, the, the cell phone where you can personalize and you can set up in ways that will can help you on a daily basis. When I go to the gym, I can set up my calorie account or I can track how much I exercise. It does really help in the fitness level. That's one of the reasons that I have that. Oh, it looks like this is complete. And it just kind of gave me a little Oh, there we go. It already opened and it's available. Well, this is super cool and I already got a bunch of messages and looks like my husband said, Woohoo! Like I am available here. So let's send a little message to the dude here. So let me take this off. So, um, yeah, it's okay. Let's try to do it together. Keep it there, guys. Let's get a little bit close. I hope you guys like my, don't mind my good breath, guys. Always good breath. Um, so my husband's like, woohoo! So let me say to him, what is scribble? Let's send a like a little thing for him. Ooh, I don't know what is this. A little animal. I think it's emojis. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, he loves bunnies, so I'm sending him a bunny. So let's see how that goes. So this is the setup. I think mo there must be different faces available too. So I think it would be easy to kind of put this on my lap and kind of play around a little bit with you guys, if you guys don't mind. Let's do that so we can talk about it. But let me just finish a little bit more about the specs of the watch. So one of the reasons that I got that, so I said fitness level, and I think I love communication as well, because as you guys can see, I'm far away from my husband during the work, or we're all far away from the loved ones, and I think it's so cool that you can send personalized messages and, you know, kind of changes and evolves the way you can communicate with people. There's other features too, like for example, it looks so much faster than the older one, because one of the things I didn't like about the older one is just because there, there was always some type of delay in opening an app or open email, or it probably still have a delay, but probably it's like not gonna be as delayed as before, because there was, it was so delayed to a point that I decided to not check my email on my Apple Watch, my Series 1. So let's see if that changes in Series 2. I have to keep you guys posted and be 100% honest about that. Also, I love the, the feature of coming with a built-in GPS, which that means that if you guys, even if you guys don't have internet connection for your phone or whatever, if you guys not connecting to a Wi-Fi connection or uh, LTE, it will still give you GPS signal. And it's also good for security reasons too. Like for example, if you're trapped or some, you know, something happens to an accident, it will be easier for you to just quickly to ask for help. And there's features actually that allows you to make emergency calls or something like that. I think it's if you hold this button here like that, and it will give you three options, emergency or power off. I can cancel because it's neater. So it's pretty cool. Other thing that I really like, it's water resistant, 50 meters. So you guys can do a good swim. I don't know how it's impact from waves on it. Ugh. You guys know. So maybe wave impact on the watch might affect the watch. I'm not sure where you guys are gonna go surfing or what type of people are gonna wear this. Just look into it or I don't know. Uh, one thing I know is that water damage is covered by Apple Watch, but it's not covered for the iPhone. If you go to activities, which is this little guy here in green, so you guys can see here. And I think down below they're swimming, full swimming. And it kind of gives you like a little how many yards you're gonna swim. You say next, the calories doesn't matter. You can just say start. And we'll show waterproof. And I think you can kind of play. Oh. And that's it, you unlocked it to swimming, I think. For now, I think that's it. I can't wait for my iPhone 7 to arrive. Guys, let me just share a little bit of the frustration about my iPhone 7. So, me and my husband were connected online. We're gonna buy, you know, we're super excited about the launching of the, the Series 2 watches and iPhone 7s Pluses specifically that we just couldn't wait. When we ordered, we were sitting out at midnight, we were just so tired because my husband had to work the next day and I think I had an audition. 
Uh, we were both dying to go to bed. And we're there midnight, midnight zero one, zero two. We're refreshing browsers. He was sitting his computer. I was sitting my computer. We're both gonna order the phones. For some reason, there was a shortage in phones. So I know that there was a very small amount of uh, pluses available to buy in the store. And it was a very small amount of the ones of highest storage. And I don't get it. I don't get it because of course, people are gonna go for the matte black and jet black. Of course, people are gonna buy the high storage because you know, for those phones, you have to actually get the one of the max, oh, sorry, the 120 uh, storage, which is the minimal storage for that type of phones. And then, you know, if you wanted the 256, they also have available. Um, so I don't understand the strategy here with Apple. Maybe I don't know why the storage inventory for the stores were not, you know, counted. I know there, there's a lot of people that still buy the small ones, but I think people end buying the small ones because they're so anxious and they're just settling up with a phone that they don't really like, right? Like, I have friends that were so anxious they went to pick up an Apple and they end with a 32 gig rose gold or white iPhone 7, and I'm like. You wanted the big one. For now, I'm gonna be testing this Apple Watch Series 2 and do a lot of different setups and play around. And pretty soon I'm gonna make, you know, make another video to you guys explaining how I feel about it, what are my favorite apps, what are my favorite features, and if there's any complaint about it. For now, I just love it. I did unboxing, it was very fun. Thank you for watching and please stay connected and let me know what Apple Watch did you decide to picking up. What color did you get? You got the regular silver or you got the black one? Do you got the ceramic one? Motherfucker. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please put the thumbs up and subscribe to me and uh, Let's all stay connected Thank you for watching fly Apple watch fly